So dementia is a, is a very large issue right now in the United States and, and internationally. What is it, dementia? We hear the term frequently, but we have to stop and think about you know, what it is. Generally, the way that we define a, a dementia is a cognitive dysfunction in two or more areas of the brain. So for example, memory and language, or memory and spatial skills. The, the person might be getting lost frequently. So if two or more areas of cognition are deteriorating, and they're deteriorating enough that it's affecting a person's function, uh, maybe they had to stop working, uh, maybe they no longer can prepare a meal at home, uh, maybe they can no longer manage their finances. If it's severe enough to affect a day-to-day -day function, then we say they have a dementia. There are 30 or more causes of dementia. Um, Alzheimer's would be the most common cause of dementia, accounting for roughly two-thirds of all cases. Uh, and then, but then there's a long list after that. For example, low vitamin B12 levels over years and years can lead to a dementia. Uh, low thyroid levels over years and years can lead to a dementia. So the neurologist has the job of coming up with an accurate cause of the dementia so that it can be treated most effectively. So our goal is to give a, a, a full um, assessment and then a full range of strategies, whether they're non-medication related or, or medication related. And finally, our goal is to have a cutting edge knowledge of all the therapeutic trials going on. Um, and no one place has all of the trials. So what we hope to provide our patients and families is a knowledge from the national perspective. Um, given that you're in this position, what's out there? Um, leave no stone unturned. I'm, I'm willing to go anywhere. Um, and talk to anyone, what can I do? Well, there's no question about it. When somebody has a diagnosis of a serious neurological disorder, whether it's Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, uh, they can't immediately uh, be cured. I mean, this is a very, very serious life-affecting uh, situation. The, the best thing that we would like to be able to do is just remove the disease altogether, and someday we'll be there. But in the meantime, what I find that is very important uh, for people is number one, um, have a clear understanding of, of what the disorder is. In other words, an accurate diagnosis. We see many patients that have been to many, many doctors and clinics before they arrive here um, as part of the search for the diagnosis. And to be able to accurately come up uh, with a diagnosis, it really it brings an end to all the endless wonder and testing. You know, some tests have risk to them. I think the important uh, value that we'd like to be able to offer is that of everything out there in the country or in the world, um, I'd like to be able to assure somebody that we're doing everything that's humanly possible at this point. Maybe in two years or five years we'll have something better. But I generally put myself, I, I try to put myself in the person's position, um, given my knowledge of medicine, um, what would I do if I had this? Um, and, and that's how I, how I think about it.